Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 25 of my AC Milan Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And today we have a time to register our uh, UEFA Champions League playoff squad. Uh, hopefully it'll be longer than the Champions League playoff and yeah, we can register the same team for the group stages. But uh, I think I mentioned it in a previous episode as well, we had to, we or we couldn't, yeah, we couldn't register some players and those were Duvan Zapata, who's on loan, uh, Dejan Drazic, a younger player, Ola John, a kind of a younger player and sort of not good enough yet, if that makes sense for Champions League level and Alvaro Medran is probably, yeah, in the same kind of boat as well, but want to be playing, yeah, those players in the league. The only, uh, yeah, if I just go to one of them, like Duvan Zapata put in, yeah, I can't, and I had to adjust it a lot. I'm only, I only have selected 23. I have to leave some spaces open by not selecting, yeah, some, uh, yeah, some yeah, players trained by AC Milan, all of that, uh, but I think it's all right because I'm registering... A lot of other str or a lot of others pl players that can play strikes here. I have to register Ricardo Sampanara. Um, who else? With a yeah homegrown status. Okay, that's really it that you can see here anyway. Uh, but yeah, I have to register someone like Ricardo Sampanara, who I was almost gonna sell, you know, um, or send on send out on loan a teammate or offer, but I took that away. He's just back up in the reserve squad. Uh, but if we desperately need to play him, I don't intend to. Uh, but he could probably do a job. He's not absolutely terrible. He's on 15k per week. He's a Serie A quality player, maybe for a lower team, uh, but still, he's still that kind of quality, you know? Not absolutely amazing by any stretch of imagination, but he's a good player. So, um, not good. Like He can just get the job done, you know, without being amazing. Uh, who knows if he's going to grow a little bit. Uh, as well, but yeah, I had to do that. I was happy I could just yeah, select the squad uh, the way it is, but that's what happens. Yeah, when you sign a lot of players, get a lot of players on loan, you can't, yeah, some you can't get in. So the biggest concern for me, yeah, is Duvan Zapata that I can't register in the squad because he's really our second best natural striker. Even though like Al Sharari's natural, but you want him on that left side, you know, but then we could bring Hesse Rodriguez. Um, he's the same, well, yeah, he could play left wing or striker, natural attacker midfielder, but he scores goals, you know, he's a good finisher, so, yeah, that's why, so we can, we still have enough strikers to actually play, um, that's my biggest concern, though, uh, if I'll just, yeah, tell the truth, Alessio Church, he can play striker as well, and then you got Rodrigo that can play striker, so, yeah, we're not lacking players that can play strikers most definitely, but, yeah, natural ones, uh, maybe so, but I'm just hoping, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Matia Destro, yeah, won't have any problems, and he'll be always our starting striker, that's my thought process anyway. So guys, here we go into the sporting game, uh, first leg at home, it gives us an opportunity to really uh, get off to a good start, and there's a good break, so yeah, players can be fit enough, but uh, yeah, to return instead of playing like three days later, but I'm more concerned about the match fitness, that will still be a concern, you know, and they're two games in a row, yeah? So we can get them, yeah, done and dusted in this episode. And hopefully we'll be advancing into the group stages. If we're not, it's going to be uh, a very, well, I don't know, it would be very disappointing. Because we've all been anticipating, I've been anticipating, you guys have been anticipating we're playing Champions League football this season. And the board expects me to get out of the group stages into the knockout rounds. So it'll be, oh, I have no idea what will happen if we... Yeah, don't look at that. Minimum expectation to reach the first rounds. And I believe we have a team to go... Oh, I, I think we've got talent. I don't think we can get to the final if you judge on our talent. Uh, we can at least get yeah, get out of the group stages, uh, depending who we group with, you know. But we've got talented players. And this is something we're going to have to adjust to as well. Uh, we only have tw or seven. Like you say, only have seven on the bench. That seems to be the norm. But in Serie A, it's 12. So we're going to have to keep adjusting that. Uh, but I wanted to go big with my players up front. This is what I mean. You look at the attacking front four. You've got Mattia Destro as striker. And then those attacking midfield players. You've got Stefan al Sharawi, Hesse. And I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, his last name is Rodriguez. I'm not f yeah, uh, Hesse Rodriguez. Um, Ronaldo is his idol. His quality. Um, I'm sure he learns from Ronaldo in training, you know, at Real Madrid, but, and Rodrigo as well, he's a really good finisher, I'm look, and he's become natural in that right wing position now, he's got the flair, speed, uh, dribbling ability, finishing ability, the technique to go along with it, 
And yeah, I'm anticipating that he will be like an Al Sharawi on the right side. Like everything, that's exactly what I was looking for. So hopefully he can be that. And this time I'm going to use my main tact that I was using last season. But in that previous game we played against Juve, um, I like to just call the preseason game. Uh, at least we used it for more or less. Yeah, we used it for the whole game. So that gave it a bit more familiarity. That's the only positive out of losing out of it, I suppose. And yeah, a couple of players uh, played well in the game. But yeah, we'll go back to it. And yeah, so that's a good thing. We lost, but yeah, playing it, that's like when training a player in a new position. Um, if you give them game time playing that position, they'll learn it quicker, uh, like you saw with Rodrigo as well. But then you think our centre midfielder as well, uh, Moussa Dembele, he's a really, really good player, a really strong midfielder, and he can pass pretty well and create with his dribbling ability. He's a very yeah different kind of centre midfielder because he doesn't have like the vision in him as well, but then he's got the good yeah dribbling and, and he tackles, a great passer as well, so strong, still a bit quick as well. He's a really fit guy. His balance is good. Yeah, he's a really player I like, uh, really kind of player I like, you know. Uh, good on the ball. Uh, Nigel de Jong is going a bit down in his attributes, so I reckon he's going to hit that time now. But, yeah, pre-season, that's bound to happen. Gulam as well coming in. Who else? Andrew Fontas. I reckon he's going to be a major player. He didn't play the previous game. He's going to be a big, big difference. He's a bit more talented than Kristov. And, yeah, Adil Rami, De Shilio, all of that. So, went through the whole team. And, yeah, let's go in. Hopefully, we can win this. I want it to be convincing. If this is this will like uh, the confidence, uh, my confidence was a bit low <laughs> after the last game. Uh, but here, I think, yeah, I think we can turn it around. Even though Sporting's a decent side, they're not terrible. They're not terrible. Look, you, you compare. Okay, we'll pair the attacking uh, attacking four. They're playing a similar formation. Uh, they've got uh, Slimani, and you compare compare him to Destro. You see, he's still a good player in the air and everything like that. But Destro is better. And you look at their wingers and that who, Diego Capel. Whoa, well, he looks totally different, doesn't he, with short hair? You remember when he used to have long hair? He played in Spain, yeah, who do you play with? Um, yeah, Sevilla. I actually thought he was a really talented player, but yeah, getting older. See, he's a guy, when he loses his pace, as he gets a bit older, yeah, he won't really be a impact, in my view. Uh, then we've got João Mario, who I think is a really talented player, but he's playing center attack and midfield, more naturally center midfielder. Um, he's not a guy to score a lot of goals. He's got a good long shot at him, though, but five goals in 29 last season. Not dangerous in that way, but saying that he'll probably score against me. And then, yeah, Andre Carrillo as well. A really, really quick guy. So they're going to have their dangers w with their quickness. And they've got Adrian as a ball in your midfielder. Amazing mentals. He's actually a really, really good central midfielder with those mentals, but physically pretty poor, not really strong. But they've got the strength in Will and Carvalho, so he could really... Yeah, block stuff in midfield, you know. And then at the back, oh, they've got an amazing left back, Jonathan Silva. So, <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be an easy game. Then they've got the center backs. Maybe a weakness for them. They've got Leandro Almeida. If I had a guy like that, you'll say, yeah, sell him. He's shit. <laughs> uh, then Bruno Rodrigo. He's a bit better, but again, physically not the best. Uh, but yeah, he's got some good defensive attributes in his technicals. And then Lopez. Uh, Miguel Lopez, again, a player from Spain initially in his earlier days. Oh, no, not Spain, sorry, in, in Portugal. I remember. I just remember using him. I think I had a Porto save once or something like that. So, yeah. He played once in Spain for Real Betis. <laughs> so, at least I got that right. But anyway, oh, I'm just... Sometimes I do this because I'm scared to go into the game and face what may happen, we may get knocked out, Whew, come on, especially we can't concede away goals, come on lads, what are we going to say here, aggressively, a team such as ours should be winning this match without any problem at all, there we go, motivating, we've got this this season, like I have a slight hope in my head we can win Champions League, and you know, oh, it's unrealistic of course, when you, when you are being realistic about it, like our squad doesn't have a chance to compete with like a Barcelona, a Madrid, Juve, that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I just always feel we can always win a game, regardless if we are underdogs. Come on. We're dominating the game early. Dembele. Al Sharawi. De Jong. Oh, nah, come on. Just want to check something. Advanced Tactics... Yeah, 
at least we're not <laughs> yeah, using the other tactic uh, when I wasn't aware of it. But come on. Oh, I see Diego Capel. He's got that pace. He'll use that. He'll use that. Oh, my God. <laughs> they go so close to scoring. Come on. This could be a difference. Gulam, a new tactic with a long throw in. He's a good, yeah, fullback. The only downside with that, he goes on the opposite side. So if they counter, could be in trouble. But no, nah, it's all right. Al Sharawi. Come on. Now it's Dembele. Now Rodrigo. Now finish it. Yes, that all came about from Rodrigo's strike. And Mattia Destro. Ooh, poacher's goal. Poacher's goal. He anticipated always staying alive in case the goalkeeper would parry it. And he was alive. He was the one. The defenders didn't have... They had no idea. They were focusing on defending the initial shot. So you've got to take that into account. But here we go again. Rami. De Jong. Dembele. Asharawi. Destro. Come on, finish this off. Two goals early. Could do that. Gulam. Gulam. Okay. Asharawi. Okay. Okay, Destro. Destro is okay. He's got... Oh! You offsides, man. Oh, man, I wish that was an offside. 2-0 at this point. How close was it? Oh, come on. Look at... That's like an inch offside. If you want to be technical, it was offside. Regardless how much it was by, it was. Now, Mario puts it in. Adrian. Out wide to Mario. Whips in the cross. We've got to be careful of him. He's a very good player. Come on, tackle, tackle. No, no, no. They've got a away goal. No, no. I'm acting like I'm behind, but it's almost as good as that. Because they've got a vital away goal. Mario, this is much tighter than I thought it would be. I just thought instantly we'd be playing. I know we had to play. I didn't. I thought there would be an easier team, you know, than, yeah, sporting we'd had to face. Because I always remember, yeah, having to play an easier game. I think... Uh, when you, oh, I used to manage Arsenal a lot, and you know how they always used to come fourth a lot, and you always, yeah, start a season with that game, but it was, yeah, so easy, but come on, come on, Alsha, Destro, <laughs> nah, man, don't do this to me, don't do this to me, Hesse Rodriguez, Dembele, oh, oh, are you serious, who were you passing to, the fucking ad boards, man, long throw, Long throw OP. Long throw OP. Finish. Oh, my God. This needs to be a convincing win because the away game isn't going to be easy. Come on, long throw this time. Okay, now he goes to Dembele to change it up. To change it up. Hesse <laughs> Rodriguez smashes that into the top corner, and that's why we got him on loan. Of course, there's always be a discussion if I maybe got too many players by getting him on loan, but, yeah, he comes up and does that. <laughs> yeah, maybe he could be the backup uh, striker if Destro can't play because he can find the back of the net, no doubt. He's a talented kid. Uh, would love to get that money to sign him permanently. Uh, but yeah, that's probably going to have to come out of the sky once again. <laughs> or if we do well in Champions League. But that that was okay. It was okay, but yeah, don't you got to guard against complacency. But of course, Hesse here will say passionately, um, I'm very happy in him. Well, with him, and he's fired up. So that fixed that up. I was going to say that regardless. I just wanted to do the team talk as a whole first. But no, we need we need more than this. I'm still going to be disappointed if we don't get another here, especially with conceding an away goal. We need to push on and get another one, without a doubt. We need that breathing space going into the away leg. But if we can get um, yeah a goal away from home in the away leg, that would be good. But come on, a goal here. We need at least a two-goal gap. And I feel a bit more comfortable then. But Diego Capel's on the ball. Oh, good intercepting in midfield there. I'm really happy with Fontas. I really think he can prove and step up as a world-class centre-back. Now, De Chilio goes back. Now, it's Nigel De Jong. Now, Nigel De Jong back to De Chilio. De Chilio. Oh, how did he find SC Rodriguez? He closed in on goal, and being serious, we're dominating this game. He got how much? three clicker chances, 11 on target. That's a lot. Oh, look at this. Space opened up, Dembele slightly passed him, but he's still on the ball here. You can see here, his ball control dribbling. Oh, my God, how did their goalkeeper save that? 
<laughs> oh my, that had to be a goal. Now it's four click our chances. Hesse Rodriguez. No free kick. And now it's just Rodrigo. And now it's Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, again, another shot on target. 13 shots on target. We're going to have about 20 on target in this game. Or close to it. We'll make some changes. Uh, Carlos Mane coming on from them. We all know that I think he's a decent player. Signed with United. This is a couple seasons before. Uh, see, Dembele's had a great game. 7.7. .7, with not even scoring. So, Alsha's going to come off. Got to keep him fit, you know. And we're going to bring on... Oh, who are we going to bring on? Churchy? Can we bring on Churchy on the left side? Well, yeah, we can. It just depends how yeah how good he's going to do. He's left-footed, isn't he? So, yeah, so that makes it a bit interesting. But I'm sure he'll come up and do something. He's a quality player. And, yeah, the Shilly... Oh, I can't. I can't have him getting a red. We have to, yeah, bring on Peruzzi. And, oh, this is... Oh, this is a great feeling. Like, it's Peruzzi's return. If you were subscribed around the FM14 days uh, with my United save, uh, he was an he was a magnificent right back for me uh, that I signed to replace Rafael after he moved to PSG, uh, which is crazy how you remember. Do you ever just remember something in a football manager save of a previous game? Like, it always just is stuck in your head. It's one of those things. And not just, yeah, with football manager, like certain things in life you just always remember. That's just, yeah, the, one of those things. Uh, with a lot of things, though. Okay. See, there was Dembele uh, picking up for free kick there as well. You won't see it in the highlight, but... Yeah, he did that to win the foul using his dribbling ability, apparently. And now Dembele on the ball again. That's why, like, he gets on the ball a lot and does something with it. Opposed to, we had Montalivo last season. But, yeah, he wouldn't do that because he didn't have really high dribbling Oh, here we go. Destro. Oh, this tie is heavily in our favor now. And Destro, um, he hasn't really had any major injuries. I think he had a couple last season, but nothing really major to keep him out for a long time. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about, um, like, a, with Duvan Zapata not being registered. That's what I mean. I can keep Destro for those Champions League games. I'll see I have a Champions League game next when I have a yeah, Serie A game. I'll play Zapata. Keep Destro fit. Oh, Pen! Ooh, he ran into the big body of Wilm Carvalho. A fourth here could probably kill it off, don't you think? I think it could. But at the same time, if they get a second away goal, oh, that would be so important for them. Really, really hard. But one with one yeah, away goal, I think we can get advantage away from home and do better than that. Come on, Rodrigo, finish this. Yes! Come on! Come on, Rodrigo! What a signing this guy is proving to be. I'm so happy now because this is exactly what I want from that position as a player to smash in the goals like Al Sharawi and Rodrigo. His shots are so powerful. I'm not sure what he has um, like preferred moves-wise. We'll check him out. But he smashes in those strikes and he's proving to be amazing signing. In theory, we signed him for nothing. We just exchanged him uh, with Menez. And yeah, you know, when I talked about Menez, I was getting like that maximum offer, 8.25 million or 8.75. Can't remember exactly. But yeah, every team was just offering that for whatever reason. And I wasn't even offering him to clubs for that much. I was offering for more. Yeah, he shoots it. He does. So that does make sense. Uh, the only difference in his preferred moves, he runs with the ball down the left. So that doesn't yeah, come into play when he's playing on the right. I suppose. Yeah, but he's so deadly. He moves into channels, shoots with power, tries killer balls as well, so he'll create stuff. He's got decent vision, uh, so you can see that, and he's got flair. He's scary. He's so much more valuable than Menez. You thought Menez did well for us, but this guy's going to step up and score goals when it's needed, you know, more like that. So uh, we can make one more sub now just to who we, who's more important to keep fit for the next game. Hesse Rodriguez, or I think Dembele's been Dembele's been too good. We'll bring in Thomas Partey, a bit more defensive type, you know. Uh, could we play with two ball-winning midfielders? I think I think we could do that. I think we can do that because they're both that type. Him and De Jong. We we want to play a bit more defensive now, so we'll go uh, we'll go assertively, and I'll say a faith in you to Thomas Partey. And this is the exact kind of win I wanted. If I was going to concede an away goal, I'd like something like a four goals. Either way, I wanted a convincing win, whether it be 2-0 or a 4-1, something like that to put us just in a good position. Three goals ahead, you can take away goals out of it almost. We're in a very strong position. 
Alessio Churchy. Make it five. Let's make it five. Oh. Oh. So you can see, you can really see the difference. Um, I'm glad it's reflected on the scoreboard now. Um, the match stats, like 18 on target, six clear-cut chances. That really indicates a 4-1 victory. And there's probably not going to be a fifth here, unfortunately. Uh, but that is it. Nah. That was a great second half performance. Well done, lads. <laughs> and that's going to boost the morale as well. Uh, give some good match fitness to a lot of players as well. So we can uh, look to push on uh, this advantage into the second leg. Uh-oh. Alarm bells. Alarm bells. De Chilio wants to discuss personal matters. Uh, he, what the, Oh, no. Manchester United. Ooh, that's going to be a hard one to decline. So we're going to have to speak to him. Is there any other teams that's interested that's what you get with a high potential player who's good enough already. Oh, really high potential. There's going to be big teams always, yeah, circling. Sometimes I just want to, I just want to play with my team. You know, I, do you ever feel like that? You just don't want to, yeah, yeah. Any interest from big teams uh, disrupting your current squad? You feel you, you've just built amazingly, you know, or it's at least it's coming along that way. And the Shilu, we can't, we can't lose him. You know, he's part of that. So, I'm just going to say, uh, people always say you could talk to players better and just say this option, but I like to say it differently. But in this situation, I'll just say, yeah, um, if they make offer, I'll accept it pretty much. <laughs> that, that's it. And then, my move, which I think is pretty effective, work for the Shilio, haven't really got offers in. You put asking price 100 million, and that's just going to scare them away, really. And if they do offer 100 million, well... You can basically sign the best player in that position. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty cool. And he's got a contract to 2019 as well. Uh, definitely uh, a long time. So he can't leave. Yeah, he might be unhappy, but he's still he's still a quality player we can play. So guys, we'll head into the second leg now. That 4-1 advantage is really good. And what I want here is to maybe we'll just get our way goal at any point. It doesn't have to be early. Uh, I guess the longer the, ga the game drags on, um, we can hold our result, hold our advantage really, really good. And we have no reason to change up our squad. That's the thing here. We got the job done with these 11 guys who will continue to give you match fitness. Might be important for the other guys to get match fitness as well, but you got to be consistent in your lineup. And these are the guys that got the job done. I'm not going to be changing that. Uh, we'll leave them on. Uh, Hesse Rodriguez is going to be a great loan signing for this season. And like I said, if you can get the money for him, no doubt. You see, they're, they're going more attacking now. Uh, they had the same formation us, but they're looking to play two strikers now. Freddie Montero, um, who I do rate as a striker, really liked him. I liked him when he was at, was it Seattle? Yeah, and in MLS. Uh, was a really good player for them. And anyone else? Pretty much. Oh, they dropped. Oh, they probably dropped out their most dangerous player. I'm not really scared of this guy. Like, <laughs> he's a really good passer. He just seems like a talented player because he's potential as well. So no doubt they're going more attacking. Uh, but that's going to just allow us to be able to hit him on the counter, you know, even though we just play us like a lower tempo. Just like when we get the ball back and then we, we look really dangerous. Uh, what are we going to say? Assertively. And the last option, go out there and carry straight off from where you finished last match. Really, if we play like we did in the last game, we're not going to lose this. Uh, but if we have some doubt creeping into the minds of someone like a De Chilio and they score early, there could be a bit of danger in that. But if we score early here, it'll be as good as over. So it goes back to Rodrigo here. He finds De Jong outside of the box. De Jong back to Rodrigo. Rodrigo played it back. Oh my god, Yessi Rodriguez. Oh, Good start though. Good start. This is exactly what we want. Start off as the dominant team. They haven't even had a shot. Well, yeah, as soon as I said that, they had a couple uh, blocked and off targets. Rodrigo. Rodrigo! And he's going to score. I love those shots. Uh, obviously, you can score from powerful shots, but they create chances for a tap-in so many times because it's too... It's too hot. The shot is too hot for the goalkeeper to handle, and then my players are there on uh, in a good position, in a good position to find the back of the net. And if we weren't before, we are definitely now in the box seat to advance because we've got that away gal. Now Gulam, Al Sharawi. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Now we've got the advantage of away goals, and now in a better position. Yeah, come on. We are a much better team. We we deserve to be automatically in the group stages. And it's 
pretty much like that. We are running over sporting here. Usually they are in the Champions League as well, so unfortunately for them, uh, they're not going to make it this season. Uh, they're still a good team. Don't forget Ronaldo came from them. He's amazing player, Ronaldo, <laughs> of course. They produce talented players, but unfortunately they move on to better teams. So I'm very pleased with the performance. Keep it up. 6-1 on aggregates. <laughs> We're killing him. We're killing him. And look at that. 18 shots. 8 on targets. Three clear-cut chances in the first half away from home. Oh, here we go again. Al Shrawi bang in from half time. That was like 17 seconds. The quickest goal ever. It probably isn't, but <laughs> for me it is. Oh, straight away we could, we score pretty much. Dembele, the space opened up. Who was that defending him as well? Uh, Lopez. Nah, he's not good. He's not good. 3-0. Oh, we are rolling now. We are rolling them. 7-1 on aggregate, like, come on, leave in your comments now, how, how far can we go, how good are we actually, because, yeah, we're much better than this, like, sporting, but it's actually, how good are we, how good are, are we good enough to make the final, I know, saying that is a bit ambitious, but look at us today, we're much better than a team, uh, or like, of a sporting's level, but I think we're maybe in between, I don't know, but we've got talent, we've got dangerous attacking players, all our attacking players can score. Like our best four, arguably here: Rodrigo, Hesse, um, Stefan Alsharawi, and Mattia Destro. <laughs> like Destro hasn't scored in this game, but others have. Uh, we have that danger because they know Destro's a big goal scorer, so they focus on him, try to defend him. But then, yeah, our inside forwards step up the score. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, so De Jong's played a great game. Uh, Dembele. Uh, anyone else? Kristoff, maybe. Hmm. Who do I bring on? How long until the league starts for us? Uh, four days later. So that's acceptable. Uh, yeah, but Dembele to come off. And we'll bring on... Should we do it again? Thomas Partey. And then just play. We, yeah, of, score, of course, we're going to probably score less now. But yeah, just be a bit more comfortable with two ball winning midfielders. Because that's their best role. Him and De Jong. He's not really creative. He's only got 10 vision. So yeah, best to just play a ball winning role. Uh, De Chilio. I'm not sure whether to keep him on or give, yeah, Peruzzi. I think it's it's important to give Peruzzi some game time because you have no, like, I don't want to sell the Chilio, but you have no idea what's going to happen. And Gino Peruzzi, we don't, see, that's the thing. We don't initially need to sign a replacement. Uh, like, Peruzzi would be the replacement, but then we probably need to get another guy. You know what I mean? So, it's interesting. We'll just make those two changes for now. But, yeah, I won't need an initial first team replacement for the Chilio if he signs. But yeah, where do we use that money then? Um, if we sell the... But I don't want to. Why am I even talking about it? I don't want to. Oh, but I did say I would accept an offer. And if United do offer a decent amount, we're going to have to accept it. So yeah, leave your thoughts on that. But aside from that, everything else is going perfectly, really. I suppose apart from losing that game against Juventus. But that's all forgotten about now. And they are, oh, they score a tapping goal. I can't complain about it too much uh, because we've scored a few like that. But yeah, if anything in general, those goals are scored a lot both ways. I'm not sure if that's something, uh, yeah, FM that needs to be adjusted a bit more. Um, if too many are scored like that, because it's almost starting to feel like FIFA, <laughs> those kind of goals uh, being scored both ways. So I'm not complaining, I'm conceding them. I score them as well. It's just, yeah, there's a lot of those being scored, rebound goals. So, uh, one more change to be made. We'll take off Hesse Rodriguez. He's kind of cruising in this game. He's not really doing too much. So, bring on Suso. So, we've got a lot of guys that can play there, like Rafinha, uh, Suso, Hesse Rodriguez. But they all can play multiple positions, which is a good thing. 3-1. But, of course, yeah, playing away from home, you're always going to stand a chance to concede. But I'm happy that we went out, not to, I don't want to defend or something like that. Just show we are the better team. That's what I've based this tactic and my team around. I want to show we are better than our opponents. Oh, that would have been a goal and a half from Carlos Mane. He's a talented player. It shows you with that strike there. Just denied by the crossbar, really. In the underside of it as well. Almost went in. Halden. Is he a good player? I have no idea. I want to check him out. He might be good or he might be just an old player that's not good. Held on. Where is he? Is he even is he even there? 
I'll just go to the match day. Where are we? Um, if you go to advanced tactics and go stats and sporting, he would have came off the bench. Yeah, Halden. He must be in the under 20s or something. Okay, no, he's just in the first team. Okay, he's 26. So, yeah, he's, he doesn't look that good. <laughs> so, either way, sometimes, I don't know, like a player, you can tell by his name, he might be good. And other times, he might just be an older player that's rubbish. <laughs> like that occasion there. Now, it's Carlos Mane. We know he has talents. We know he has talent. Oh, whoops. This is not good. We're going to advance here. But, yeah, conceding these goals defensively, you don't want to... Uh, yeah, because if you're playing against good teams, you're not going to have the luxury uh, of scoring, yeah, seven goals over two legs. So that's something we're going to have to work on. Of course, early season, you're going to have time to work on that, uh, if anything. Uh, so you can still take things out of losses. Uh, that's what you've got to do as a manager, not just forget about it. That's, yeah, that's what I'll focus on, late goals we concede. And we'll work on that. We'll work on a defensive ability, defensive positioning in training. Haven't done so far yet this season. Work on tactics. For, uh, first and foremost, and the teamwork of the team, <laughs> yeah, in the training, uh, the match preparation, so we can get that ready, then, yeah, as the season goes on, we'll work on that defensive positioning. So we are given a bit of extra cash uh, for playing in the Champions League group stage uh, now, so where does that put us balance-wise? Yeah, we are in the, we're in the black, they call it, yeah, the, the black and the red, yeah, I think it's the black, uh, but either way, it's good to have that, and Ooh, how far can we go? I suppose it depends on our group stage draw. And you can see here, it says uh, we are one of the eight teams that have been seeded second. So we are in the second seed. So I'll take that. Uh, we're seeded along the types of the quality teams, of course, uh, which I'm happy about. I would have hated to be seeded third, you know, and then you have a chance to be grouped with yeah, a couple of these others in the second seeds, like yeah, Man United, uh, PSG. So we'll draw the first seeds and see there's not much yeah yeah there's not much you can do there but now oh who would i like to be so we're still going to get be drawn with a good team benfica or whoever yeah out of the second seed gets to draw with benfica they'll be pretty lucky benfica they're probably on the second seed level as well but can somehow we pull benfica oh and it's valencia <laughs> oh two really average sides compared to the rest you know so who are we got? Oh, I don't want Real Madrid, Man United. Oh, that's going to be huge. Uh, Bayern Munich. I don't want uh, maybe Atletico out of all the rest. PSG and Bayern Munich. Uh, some giants there. Arsenal, FC Porto. I'd much rather Atletico than Barca. Please. Yes, we get Atletico. It's still going to be a hard game to win. But, yeah, compared to Barca, yeah, much easier. So who's next uh, to get drawn in our group? There's some good teams like Liverpool... Uh, who else? Leon, maybe Inter. Well, no, Inter, yeah, we can't draw against Inter, of course. And Zenit, some dangerous sides there. But we'll just play all through to our selection. And who's available? Ajax or Liverpool? Of course, you know who you would prefer there, Ajax. Liverpool, still a bit up and down. And we pull Liverpool. Oh, that's going to make it challenging. That's the Yeah, that's three big teams. Ajax would have made it completely different. Oh, and who's going to be here? Uh, yeah, Stour and Genk. They're like easy beats, really. The easy beats of the group. Uh, yeah, it's going to be Genk. Ooh. Not an easy group. You can't. There's no absolute superpower, but there's three big teams. There's no like a yeah, Barcelona, Madrid, um, big English side, like a yeah, Manchester United, uh, a PSG or a Bayern Munich. We're not facing one of those, but there's still three bigger clubs that's on a similar level, like Liverpool, uh, Atletico, and ourselves. How's Liverpool looking, though? How are they looking uh, season-wise? Have the season... Yeah, two games this season, Liverpool, they won one, lost one. I still think they're not that absolutely high quality. Uh, they're still a bit up and down, you know. Uh, who, who's Jordan Archer? Reserve goalkeeper? Okay, he's not that good. Thought he might be yeah, a good prospect, but no... Yeah, they made some signings like a Lars Bender, who I actually rate an amazing player Lars Bender is. Look at those mentals and fitness, everything like that. They've still got, yeah, Balotelli to contend with, Sturridge. So they've got, yeah, players that can score goals. But, yeah, their squad is not that amazing. Look who they have for left backs. Brad Smith, an Australian, is playing. Oh, I might get a scarab on him. He, he doesn't look half bad. He looks all right. 
<laughs> uh, but anyway, I think that shall be it uh, for now. As you can see, I draw. What do you think about it? Uh, do you think we can advance from it? Of course, two other big teams in Liverpool and Atletico. Uh, they're going to be... Yeah, like, if you think it from their point of view, Liverpool, they'll be yeah thinking they could finish at least second. And same with Atletico. Then you put it on us as well. Oh, it's it's not. We're gonna have to beat them. We're gonna have to beat Liverpool. We're gonna have to beat Atletico. But if we don't beat them, we don't deserve to be in the knockout stages. So yeah, leave your thoughts. Can we beat those teams and yeah get a result away from home? Not just beat them at home, but get our own result. Maybe a draw, avoid defeat on their home turf. Do you think we can do that? Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I'll see you guys next time.